Welcome back to Jolie Farms in Ecuador. Hey, uh, it's just me today. No Lisa. She's working in the kitchen. And uh, But I want to come to you and explain what's going on on our channel. Um, some of you, you know, approximately 5% of our, um, our subscribers view our channel um, on their um, um, Internet Ready TV. So if that's you, uh, this particularly applies to you. Um, so whenever you're viewing on an Internet Ready TV, um, you can't select the automatic uh, translation feature. And so that we started a long time ago translating our videos. So if we just let you do the auto-generated translations, the you know misspellings, et cetera, are just horrific. Like Google's AI can never um, spell Vilcabamba properly. So maybe it's just my accent, uh, but they just don't get it. So we always go through, we hand type out and correct their generated, um, basically, subtitles. So I'm going to show a picture here of what that process was supposed to look like and what the problem is. Um, it now says ineligible in the field we used to click there to download an SRT file that we would then upload back up with timing to be able to type in and correct all of those, you know, take out the ums and os and ahs and put in the correct spelling on things and even a little bit of punctuation. So now we can't do that. Google has made some kind of change, YouTube, Google, made some kind of change that uh, won't allow us to do that. It says ineligible with a little lock right there now. So we contacted customer support last week, or we should say YouTube team support. Um, they don't have an explanation. Supposedly they're working on it. It's been about four or five days now. Um, we just keep getting wonderful little emails from them saying, we're working on it, um, which is nice. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's just not a solution. So we're unable to offer that uh, corrected subtitling like we were doing and in all the different language, languages that we were doing. If you live in a country that speaks another language, you can select the auto-generated subtitles in your language and it'll do that. It just won't always be a correct translation. Uh, there'll be misspellings, etc. So um, we apologize. There's not a lot we can do right now except sit and wait for them to do their part. Um, they wanted a huge amount of documentation from me. They wanted not just screenshots of the problem, they wanted video of the problem. So I did a video, I did screenshots, I gave them every Windows version we're using, all that good stuff. Now, keep in mind, I've reminded them over and over, we have changed nothing in what we're doing. Um, we have simply went to upload another video last week and ran into this problem when we went to do the subtitles. So we're hoping it's just a small change in code they made on their end, and they're going to have to figure out a workaround to make that work again, hopefully. Um, so we'll still be able to, to help people who need that, um, that subtitling in their language. Um, we want to do that because it increases our reach with, uh, with our videos, and uh, that just benefits everybody concerned. So um, if you are watching this and you're a creator and you've had this problem, Please leave me a comment below, especially if you know a solution. We'd love to hear a solution for this. If you work for YouTube and you know the solution, reach out to me, please. Um, if it's something on our end that we can do differently, we want to do that. We're somewhat neophytes at this. Uh, we're learning as we go. So we're not adverse to any type of correction or uh, helpful suggestion in this. Um, Anytime you're dealing with an entity like this, it's always a little frustrating trying to communicate and get the proper um, message across for what the problem is. I think we've documented it pretty, um, I would say, thoroughly. And we'll see how YouTube feels about that and see if it's good enough for them to come up with a solution. So, long story short, we hope the problem will be resolved soon. Until then, like and share. Ciao.